Hello and welcome to Inspired Express and User Operation. My name is Kyle Davis and I will be your instructor today. We will be learning about the Inspired Express software, which allows you to design digital signage for your AMX Inspired Signage Express player. In this first video, we're going to be looking at the software layout, which hopefully will give you a good feel for how to find things in the software. There are three panels to the Inspired Express software. There is the preview panel, there is the editing panel, and there is the browsing panel. In the preview panel, this is where you can go to view your content as it is played on the screen at different times and on different days, as well as adjust how things are laid out on the screen. There are a couple different settings that you should be aware of for the preview panel. First, you can adjust how it's oriented, as well as the aspect ratio. These are important because you want to be sure that your preview pane matches your project. Now, be aware that when you adjust those settings, you're just adjusting the preview pane. The aspect ratio for your projects are set upon creation, but that'll just allow you to see it the way that it's supposed to be laid out. And this panel here, this is the editing panel. This is where you can adjust the order items appear in the layer or in the playlist. It's also where you can go to your properties and you can adjust things like this is a playlist. So you can adjust the default durations and other properties. If it's a layers file, there'll be some different properties, but we'll be looking at those as we go. It's also where you can adjust the XML tree. All these files are XML based, and so you can actually go through, if you are familiar enough with XML and SVG files, you can actually go through and adjust the different definitions in these XML files if you would like. And you can actually customize the file to play the way you want to. In the browsing panel, this is where you can get to your devices, your projects, and your templates. This is the standard way that your workspace will look when you open it. If you go to My Devices, you can see your device. Now, I didn't have to do anything to make this device appear. All I had to do is plug it in. And since it is accessible in my network, it appeared automatically. In here is also the projects. This is where you would go to Create and Edit Projects. If you double click on that, then you can see I have some samples as well as some other files in here that I have created so far. And this is where you would go to open your projects and create projects. And we'll be looking how to create projects in our next video. And this is also where you go to find templates. Now, there are a lot of different types of templates here in the Templates folder. First, there are backgrounds, clip arts, and clocks. These are items that you can just drag onto the screen and then manipulate as you would like to. We'll be looking at some of those as we go. Another category of templates we have are layouts and multi-screen templates. Now, the layouts, this is where you can go. If you want predefined areas for your layouts, you can use these, and you can actually just drag and drop items into the different areas, and everything will be aligned for you. If you want to design that way, you can do that. Those are available for you, as well as multi-screens, which if you have a big video wall, you can use these multi-screen files to create a large multi-screen project. All you do if you want to do that is you just drag that into your project, delete the index file that's in there, and then just rename this as index.svg, and there you go, you have a multi-screen project. Another category of groups is our news files. News files are items like news crawlers or news tickers. These are going to be your RSS feeds. But they're more than just RSS feeds. You can also have what's called inline RSS. So if you have some scrolling text you want to create, you don't have to link to an external RSS feed. You can also create menus this way. A lot of different ways you can use these news crawlers. And then the final category are the effects. Now this is where you find your in and out effects. This is where you can find all of your items like fades, ins and outs, your zooms, your wipes your fly-ins, and as well as more complex things like bars, curtains, that type of thing. And so that's all of the different types of templates that appear here, as well as there's some more in here if you want to go and, and play around. But that is, in general, the way the software is laid out. Now in our next video, we'll look at how to create a new project.